What's up, what's up? Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work and your health and strength is good. What? What's up, Xbox fans? Xbox Tribe, Xbox Nation, Xbox Squad, Xbox Legion, Xbox Universe, Xbox Geeks and Freaks, and Xbox Mob. What's up with it? Y'all don't want it. <laughs> I'm sitting here joking. What's up with it? So, okay, you, you, okay. So, Sea of Thieves, uh, new expansion comes out this Thursday. Uh, sea of Thieves. Uh, you know, is growing. There's so much that could be added to that game. Um, you can add 20,000 leagues under the sea to the Sea of Thieves. You could add uh, the movie uh, The Abyss to Sea of Thieves. Or you could add it to Subnautica. You could add uh, like like sunken ships, World War II planes to Sea of Thieves. That Sea of Thieves universe is big, man. So, any pirate movie can be added to Sea of Thieves. You can even have the uh, the Hunt for Red October to the Sea of Thieves because that's how big the game is. What up, Rare? Anyway, so Sea of Thieves DLC uh, comes out uh, December the second, this this uh, Thursday. Now to you, Game Pass. You, you know what? You Game Pass users are getting spoiled. Look at you. But you know what? You earned it. If you were rocking with Xbox since day one, since the first Halo, you earned it. This is your reward. <laughs> or better yet, like uh, Jafar said on um, Aladdin, your eternal reward. <laughs> anyway, let's do this. Um, What's going on here? So, Game Pass has added a new th a, um, three, more, three more games to its library. Um, three more games. You are you already got the uh, uh, far, um, lawn mowing simulator. You got Halo coming. You got the uh, you got two other games coming, and then three more is, is being added. You Game Pass subscribers are getting spoiled, but you know what? Relish in the wealth. You earned it. <laughs> Anyway, let's do this. Says uh, says here, uh, Xbox Game Pass adds three new games, including surprise bonus game. Mm. Spoil, spoil Game Pass users. <laughs> anyway, let's listen to this. <laughs> let's do this. Here we go. All right. Ready? Here we go. Says here, Xbox Game Pass adds three new games, including surprise uh bonus game. Xbox Game Pass caps off its November 2021 new edition by releasing three new games including a surprise bonus game. And then it says here, uh, the Xbox Game Pass subscription service had an a special strong month in November 2021 with service adding the likes of Forza Horizon 5 and by the way, Forza Horizon fans are spoiled. <laughs> anyway, and the next gen version of Skyrim Special Edition to the lineup. Microsoft is making sure that November ends with a bang for Xbox Game Pass uh, subscribers as it's added three more games for players to check out, including a surprise bonus game that was not announced in advance. Whoa! Mm. The price of loyalty. Yeah. You Xbox Game Pass players are getting spoiled. Anyway. <laughs> says as of November 30th Xbox Game Pass subscribers across across the cloud oh by the way if you got the 360 the, the original Xbox One plus the Xbox Series X cloud gaming is in full effect because on the 360 uh, it, when, like when you play games it asks you if you want to save games to the cloud <laughs> you know what I'm saying store your treasures in heaven man anyway <laughs> anyway says yeah, as of November 30th Xbox Game Pass subscribers, the cloud console and PC can check out Evil Evil Genius <laughs> World Domination <laughs> and um, Generation Zero and Mind Scanners. Evil Genius 2 was confirmed for Xbox Game Pass weeks in advance while Mind Scanners was announced just a week ago. 
Generation Zero, however, had no prior announcements. So it so its addition to the Xbox Game Pass lineup has come as a surprise for fans. Mm. The price of loyalty, man. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, for those who may be un unfamiliar with the game, Evil Genius is a real-time strategy game. Okay. Where players on the role of James Bond ex excuse a supervillain in the in their role as a criminal mastermind player to construct their own base and attempt to build a doomsday device. <laughs> Evil Genius earned most mostly positive reviews with its PC release, but now available on console as a day one Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Loyalty. Anyway, next says here, uh, says here, Generation Z Zero, meanwhile, is quite a different beast. Developed by Avalanche Studio, the studio behind Just Cause game, Generation Zero is a four-player co-op first-person shooter survival game, Generation Zero, released in 2019 and had some pretty negative reviews upon its release, but the Xbox Game Pass debut comes alongside a fresh update that should make it a bit more appealing. So Game Pass saved the day. <laughs> anyway, and finally, Mind Scanners is a day one Xbox game like The Evil Genius previously released for PC. The game has drawn comparisons to paper to papers, please, but as a cyberpunk aesthetic, anyone interested can try Mind Scanners through Xbox Game Pass now. Hmm. In the meantime, there are even more Xbox Game Pass subscribers to look forward to next month. December 2021 brings with its launch of Halo Infinite campaign, not to mention the Xbox debut of Among Us hmm. and the release of the day one game, The Gunk, and it's clear that there is plenty of Game Pass subscribers to look forward to in December, but fans can check out the game newly added on November 30th in the meantime <laughs> yeah you Game Pass subscribers are getting spoiled man but you know what you earned it you really earned it <laughs> you earned it so uh, 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 have fun enjoy yourself okay <laughs> to, the, to the victor goes the spoils <laughs> like they say so yeah um, you got Game Pass, Microsoft got y'all covered, man. Evil genius, huh? Kind of remind me of uh, uh, Pinky and the Brain, when the brain always try to take over the world, you know, but maybe they draw some ideas from that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but uh, got another article here. One more. One more. It says here, Xbox Game Pass Mind Scanners Explained. Ready? Here we go. <clears throat> On November 30th, Game Pass will be adding a dice, 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 dystopian, dystopian sci-fi game called Mind Scanners, where players diagnose patients for a corrupt society. <laughs> you know what? This remind me, um, kind of remind me of a, uh, of a. Uh, I think it was Batman when Jim Carrey created that thing. <laughs> and try to read, read people's minds with it. Yeah. Anyway, it says here, December is going to be a big month for Xbox Game Pass. All oh, you Game Pass subscribers, you're so spoiled. Relish in the wealth. Anyway, <laughs> chief, chief, chiefly uh, because of the flagship series, next installment, Halo Infinite, will drop on December 8th, of course. As a first party Microsoft title, it will be available day one for all Game Pass subscribers. And it says here, while fans will have to wait for a more date more days to experience the campaign, players can concurrently enjoy Halo Infinite multiplayer for free. Facts. It says here on the other games, however, might be more interested in the upcoming Xbox Game Pass indie games beginning November 30th. Players can check out Mind Scanners, a sci-fi dystopian simulation game that's been compared to the paper please for its format because of the because of the game's highly positive reputation so far. 
Players should consider checking it out free with an Xbox Game Pass subscription. And it says here, okay, it says here, hmm, in my in mind scanners, player will assume the role of a mind scanner, a person who probes around another person's brain to test and look for signs of mental di diver divergence by using treatments device in an attempt to help them recover. Players work for the structure, a mega, mega city ruled by a corrupt government, which may sound like a may, which may sound like many cyberpunk settings. Its goal is to weed out anyone that shows signs of mental divergence. And these <laughs> machines as essentially cure them from its traits by writing the host of their entire personality. This way the structure can maintain control of its citizen. Psychological warfare, huh? Alright, whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is a as a protagonist, players are are also controlled by the structure, though in a different way. It's quarantined the PC daughter, and the only way to get her back is to climb the ranks by being a successful mind scanner, mean mind meaning bending to the structure's will, or at least that's what the uh, structure says will happen. On the other hand, players can also choose a actively rebel against the mega city. Hmm? Players, players can diagnose the NPCs through a series of tests, such as a Rorsach ro, 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 test. <laughs> During the diagno, diagnosis, they will need to choose from their options, and three correct answers consecutively are needed to progress through the corrupt treatment uh, please at the end of at the end of a mind scan this is where players must decide if the patient is sane or insane <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> anyway an abhorrent uh, tactic used to deduce them down either to problematic or model citizens if players declare someone as sane it can result in negative consequence later on. Though it may be more uh, virtuous, however, player, players players choose to go about the haunting profession. Mind Scanners is a rich with a variety of endings. <laughs> Treating patients in Mind Scanners also requires a surprising amount of strategy. Each treatment is only allotted 200 seconds and each day the PC must pay up to the structure as well our risk getting banished to the other outer zone I mean to, no banished to the outer zone <laughs> this way players must juggle the morality of spending mon money diagnosing patients and the more humane way costs extra with the ex ex exists Extensional cost of time. It's so, it's sort of like an absurdist cyberpunk Stardew Valley. <laughs> On Steam, mind scanners hold a very positive reputation from players' reviews, where the story complements above all else. On Metacritic, it has a solid score of 75. And then it says here for fans who check out and enjoy the cyberpunk bar simulator. VA 11 Hall A, read as Valhalla, <clears throat> which is leaving November 30th. They should keep the sci fi simulation trend going with mind scanners as both discuss the dice, dystopian politics of bleak future presented with enticing pixel graphics. <laughs> so the game is just like. Uh, Based on the picture I'm looking at, it's kind of like Coffee Talk. <laughs> There's a game on the uh, on Game Pass called uh, Coffee Talk. You know, like you know, like how people go to Starbucks and start they sit around a table with a cup of coffee and they start talking about their problems and all that. Coffee Talk on Game Pass on Xbox. 
and then mind scanners follow the same pattern with the same graphics yeah game pass uh, players you people are getting spoiled <laughs> and this mind scanner thing so basically you're playing you're playing the role you're trying to detain you're trying to f use the game you're trying to figure out humans to see if, to see if they're insane or sane hmm. just like how people do in real life oh boy anyway <laughs> anyway um, this game sounds pretty interesting and um, a lot of steam players already play so on game pass uh, uh, this game will be available so be on the lookout for that but anyway what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna leave a link in the description box with this article nice talking to you people again Chris still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing bored dark side go Peace.